Hey everybody, really quick tip tonight. We're just gonna reverse an audio file and there's two steps to this. First of all, we're just gonna do a simple reversal. And in this case, what I wanna do is add a reverse symbol leading into when the verse starts. So right as it hits there. So what I'm gonna do is just go to my Apple loops and I'm gonna type in symbol. And we have a few different ones here, the long crash. I'm gonna pull that one out. And I'm actually going to increase my audio waveform so that we can really easily see this. Now I've got it here. I'm going to come over into my inspector for the region for the audio. And all I have to do is click on the reverse checkbox and it's gonna reverse that audio file. Now I wanna come in and fine tune this just a little bit because I want it to hit or to stop right as we get to the, um, the vocal there starting. Of the fight. I think I actually want to stop just a little hair before that we'll see it's one of these two here so that's super easy just to reverse something by clicking on a little checkbox now the other thing sometimes I wanna do is actually change the sound of it using something like a reverb. So one of the things we're gonna do with this now is come into selection-based processing after right-clicking on that file. I'm going to load in Chromaverb. And I'm not gonna to be too picky for this example right now, but you can get whatever one you want from all of this smooth space. Let's actually listen for a moment. So we're going to preview. So we apply the, the chroma verb to this and then we can use that now. So it's gonna have the reverse reverb built into it now. And one other thing I can do, not what I really intended, but I can actually come through and change by holding on the option key, doing a, a time compression here to shorten that up just a little bit. Okay, now all together. I want it a little bit more subtle. So I'm actually going to come through and adjust the gain of that as well. I'm just going to use automation in this case. There's a lot of different automation shortcuts, which we're going to talk about another time. I'm just going to pull it down a few decibels. So it's so easy to work with reverse sounds. It's real easy to add in that reverb and get the reverse reverb effect as well. Super easy, all you have to do really is know this one click right here in our region properties. Okay, that's it for today, something super short. Hope you enjoyed this and we're gonna be doing a bunch more videos next week over the, uh, the holiday time for us here in the States. So I've got a lot of extra time. Definitely gonna be making some more videos, so come back often.